So right now we have this very colorful plan. I don't know if that bothers you, but bothers me a little bit. So let's fix that. Right now we are using this Penset 03 Architecture 100. If we change this for color conceptual, we change the colors of the lines a little bit. Let's try a different one. Let's try electrical. So everything becomes a little bit more gray. Let's try color. So it's even more different. And let's go to Archicad 9, which was a really old pen set. Doesn't look good. So basically we're changing different colors for the same pen. So I'm gonna go back to the Architecture 100 and let's start editing that. So one way to do it is you go to Documents, Pen Sets. So here you have all the pen sets that we are changing right now. And you can also go to the model views for the pen set. So I'm gonna click on it and here we go. So basically the way the pen set works is every one of those lots is one pen. So this is the pen 41, this is the pen 1, pen 2, pen 3. And every pen has a weight, has a color that we can change here, and it has a description. So this same slot, the slot number 3, can be orange here and it can be white in a different pen set. So basically we can add different combinations of color and thickness for the same slots. And the way ARCHICAD organized those slots is by column. So for instance, right now on this first column we have general drafting, general cut structure, general cut non-structural elements, general symbols and separators, so on. If I go to this third column, we have slots for openings. So you can see here that all the openings are orange right now. So I have openings general, openings cut structure, openings cut non-structure. The next column will be for objects. So all those lots are for objects, annotation, annotation text, curtain walls, columns, beams, slabs, staircases, and so on. So every column from this first row to this last row here, it belongs to one kind of element. And those two rows here at the bottom, they belong to some building materials, to some of like ironwork or brickwork. So they are not necessarily attached to an element. So let's do a test here. I'm going to select all those orange ones here and I'm going to change their color to black. So I'm going to go edit color, change the black. If you're on a PC, this may look a little bit different, but should be pretty straightforward. Now Archicad has created a custom pen set here. I'm not going to store it yet. I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. So everything that was using the pens for openings is now black. So I don't really need it to change on the object what was the pen set. We can do that now. So let's go back to the document, pen sets, pens and colors, and let's do everything from here all the way to this column, black. So I'm gonna select them, edit, choose it black. So every element is black. The reason is I'm not doing those last three columns is that because they are for fills and background. So I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm also gonna change those two, which are for outlines and some other objects. So I'm gonna change them to a lighter black, let's say dark gray. And the last one, which I know is for fills, I'm also gonna change it to a even lighter gray. So press OK. Before I save it, let's press OK and see how it looks. That's looking better. But you can see here that my wall is still a little bit beige. And the reason for that is because it's using one of the building materials. So I'm going to go back here to pen sets again. So pen set, pen and colors. And then I'm going to change this whole line here to black as well. So let's choose black. Actually, the second row here, I think we're going to be better off with a lighter gray. So let's press OK, and that's looking much better. So now I can go ahead and save that. So I'm going to open again, document, pen set, pen and colors. And you can save it as the name that you want. Usually I put it as a scale name. So I'm going to name it schematic design. 50. Okay, so it's going to be for the scale 1 to 50 store. You could also have changed for every slot the thickness of the pen and 
the description of the pen. Also feel free to use those lines. They are free for the user, so you can create some custom pens here and keep it for your pen set. So I'm gonna go ahead, press OK, and that is really looking much better. So if we go here to one of the sections, those green lines for the grid are now black, the dimensions are now black, and this is looking more like it.